Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on Akuma FC Skyblock and in this video we're going to be just doing a little bit of everything so stay tuned to the very end and the first thing I do want to start off with is farming the wheat. As you could tell in the previous videos we've been expanding it and it is fully grown right now except for some few spots but that's fine so we're going to go ahead and mine it all. I am expecting some skill level up some gems some whole lot of things so we're gonna go and slash sell all we have some grinding some blazes we do have 100 levels so we're gonna enchant some things further in the episode and we do have some of these first actually i do want to go ahead and open up these airdrops first so let's go ahead and open up the first one hopefully we can get some good stuff from it uh okay six tempest keys 12 storm keys and 16 igs will definitely take the igs okay let's go ahead and place down another one and open it looks like we got some value tickets or something let's just see okay we got a whole bunch of stuff from this one actually we got some chat colors let's just claim them all um we got some more keys it looks like some more spawners and let's go ahead and open up the last airdrop while i do sort out my inventory uh we got 12 value tickets which we're going to definitely take and then some more keys um two pets two pet eggs okay let's see what pets we get from this we only have two pets currently so hopefully we get some good pets from this we got a key pet legendary key pet okay doesn't look too bad and this book finder pet actually looks pretty good i'm not going to lie that book finder pet was going to be very, very helpful to us because we currently do need a lot of more enchants and we don't have any so i think i'm going to go ahead and actually apply these spawners we do have a pretty good farm going down here and 32 IGs is actually kind of crazy. That's going to put us at around... It looks like the max stack size is 64. So let me go ahead and check there is, if there is an ice perk spawner limit. So our quest is... Quest have 20 zombie spawners placed. Okay, we don't see... Do we have any even placed? I don't think we do. Let's see how much they cost in the slash shop. We need 20 of them. And they're only... Okay, not only, but like they're 750. And let's see how many 20 would cost. 20 would cost 15 mil. I mean, we can honestly just do that. That's probably one of the easiest ice perks we're going to unlock. So we do actually need a good spot for this. Um, I think I'm probably going to go get some blocks and expand out a little bit. So like, if you take a look, I'm going to probably just go like this. Uh, let's place them right here. Boom, 20 spawners down. We should get the ice perk unlocked. Let me go ahead and double check. If we go into the limit, uh, I think it might take a little to actually start. It does say level two, so I really don't know what happened. But um, okay, I thought I placed the IGs down. I don't really know what's happening right now. This is kind of confusing, but okay, finally updated. And let's go ahead and double check and see if we did apply. Okay, so now, uh, now the next is to actually kill 5,000 mobs. Okay, that's not bad. Probably has to update or something. Okay, so I might not have realized, but it's talking about our total spawners, not per stack. Okay, so we're just gonna have to make another place for our spawners. Uh, we're just gonna build out a little bit. Probably right here is fine for now. And it's not a bad thing because we're gonna have more like spawners spawning at the same time. So it is actually a pretty good thing. And currently our farm has made three mil. Okay, that's not bad at all. Let's go ahead and claim all that money. You just claim it by clicking in the chest. And that ha has made us a quite a bit of money. But yeah, let's go ahead and farm now. I'm gonna activate the bookfinder pet. And I'll come back. I'll show you how many gems and stuff and money I've made. Let me go ahead and get the wheat satchel real quick. Uh, wherever it is. And I do want to go ahead and check the masteries real quick, actually. Because once we do get to 10k mine, we can unlock carrots. And those are going to be better. Okay, so we finished farming all of it. Let's go sell all these drops. I've already sold. So we made about 50k in total. We got some, some keys and stuff from them because we did get some levels up so if we check our skills we can see that in these farming skills we did get to level 10 so that gives us a eight percent crop drop boost 48 cloud keys and 10 cow spawners so we're going to take that and i think earlier when we were grinding the blazes we did get a ultimate skill level up which got us the airdrops which makes sense and the wheat satchel is all empty and we're going to take the cow spawners too let's go ahead and apply them to the stack and okay that was pretty good um we got a farming book so that's definitely going to help us we're going to take that uh, we actually have a few books that we can go ahead and check if we have any good enchants for them. So I think I'm going to do that real quick. So let's warp enchanter. And once I do figure out all the enchants that I do have, I do have 100 levels to spend on enchanting my gear and stuff. So we're definitely going to do that. And let's see, treasure hunter, find keys, gardener, only breaks, grown crops. Oh, we might have to go for that one. That one actually seems pretty good. Um, let's go ahead and do that one because that's just going to help the process a lot. Because currently we do have it where it is going to break like the crops. And it's kind of annoying because then we do have to keep replanting every time we do break the seeds and stuff. And so we gardener. Okay, we already got that one speed. And let's go with speed because speed is going to help us just farm a lot faster. So let's see. And the last one is grinding. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the grinding book. Let's see. Book hunter, find enchant books, multi kill, and sharpness. Okay, we're doing sharpness because currently we only have sharpness one. And sharpness two is going to help us a ton. So let's go see how much it will actually cost to enchant sharpness. 
and 34 levels not bad we're definitely going to apply that then for the whole enchant we are probably going to put gardener 28 levels not bad at all too speed i'm going to save for now let's go and do slash is skill let's go ahead and check take a look at these enchants that i do already have so we have turbo two turbo minis we have a rebirth and i thought we had a meteor unless we know the meteor failed when we did apply so we can't do that one let's go ahead and check turbo mining does cost like 70 levels which is kind of insane uh let's just go to the or let's just go back to the enchanter so let's work enchanter is the command okay i got my pickaxe now let's go ahead and enchant so if we take a look put a uh, turbo binding in yeah 71 which is kind of crazy rebirth this book will increase the level on an enchant or the enchants go beyond the max level that's not bad but let's just go with turbo miner real quick and it did it does it apply yeah i think it did apply and so let's go ahead and do another one of those and they both applied okay turbo mining two or I, I don't even know probably just update but turbo mining not bad definitely going to take those enchants and as we do get future enchants we do have some levels so we can spend those on enchanting and leveling up our gear but let's go back to the island and currently we just are focused on getting the money and farms leveled up if we take a look in the ice perks i think we did get a earlier one crop growth so we're going to take that and we need to earn four 500k from selling crops to upgrade it and it boosts the speed that they grow at which is pretty good and let's go ahead and check out the masteries because we did grant a ton right there and we got about 2k from that okay so every time we mine all this is about 2k so that is not bad it's only gonna take us a few times until we can actually get to the potatoes or the next tier i forgot what it was it might be carrots but that is not bad we've also had this mining robot going on in the background so i do want to go ahead and sell it with a sell one uh and you should count let's just inspect to see how much we're gonna make 20k i mean honestly that's not terrible because it is just going in the background and we don't even have our ice purse unlocked to increase like the ores that can spawn from grinding so yeah it's not bad for just that and we only have one robot so you can see that we probably upgraded too i've not even taken a look at all of this um looks like that's max okay let's see what other there are oh that's max two and then the storage i guess is the only thing that we can probably upgrade i guess this can also get xp and gems that's not bad we do have 40k gems that we could probably spend on some fire scrolls and stuff but currently, we do have this little farm set up with the lava. We were doing a prison series earlier, but this prison is currently resetting. So if you guys would like to see another series on that once it does reset, make sure to comment down that below. But I think I'm going to end things there. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.